All right, now live broadcasting from the Ginger and Baker studio here in the Music District in Fort Collins. We're super excited it's excited today to have uh, live at lunch. Um, and I'm your host, Sean. And today's amazing musical guest is Jeff Plankenhorn. Why don't you kick us off with a song, Jeff? All right. <laughs> work a little bit of dignity a boss who ain't a jerk someone to come home to someone to take out simple kind of pleasures that's what i'm all about independent contractor 18 wheels got a little test of how freedom feels they grow everything that's green in california yeah. sometimes you gotta hustle to earn your pay and i gotta Flat tie and a heavy load Supposed to haul it in three hours ago Won't someone help the poor boy on the side of the road I got a flat tie, a little further to go Man, I'm leaving Santa Rosa With a truck full of plums and some mystery boxes I don't know where to come from Don't ask questions So I cannot lie about the drop-off Payload, reasons why I figure everybody needs a little relaxation If it comes in the ground Who am I to say so? Driving to drive, making good time I see 50 pounds of rubber banging off of my side And I got a flat tire and a heavy load Supposed to haul it in five hours ago Won't someone help the poor boy on the side of the road? I got a Flat tie, little further to go. Yeah. Steering axle blowout, so I threw on a J. 30 miles south of Old Salt Lake I was sweating my cargo I was plotting my escape When a trooper pulls up with a grin on his face Where you from, son? What's in the trailer? Agriculture, sir, from a Golden State wholesaler Open up the back while we're waiting on the tow I get a little bit hungry driving up and down this road 30 minutes later, it throws me back my keys and says, I hope you don't mind. I grabbed a handful of these and then it tips his hat and says, have a nice day. It's another afternoon in the USA. Flat tie and a heavy load. Supposed to haul it in several hours ago. The trooper helped a poor boy on the side of the road. He had a flat tie, a little further to go. It's Jeff Plankenhorn with Flat Tire. You got another song ready for us? Yeah, let me try this one. It's the title track to the upcoming album. Sweet. Cologne at Sea. Tugboat, fisherboat, sailboat, yeah. Fred, a dory, skiff for barge, where are you going? Where have you been? Can I hit you ride and see my story begin? Go out on the ocean I really want to find A little island I really want to fail my days alone 
Cause I'm oh so tired Sunlight shine on snow white sails Cool breeze, warm winds never fail When all is said and done I still should have a little fun But who will you leave behind you when you run? I really want to go out on the ocean I really want to find a little island I really want to fare my days alone Cause I've grown so tired I really want to dream the dreams of angels Find something better in the in-between I really want to be okay Being alone at sea We tag so hard, there's no time to play Then we drift so hard, I don't make time to say I love you At least not the way I should But when will we find out all is already good yeah. I really Go out on the ocean I really want to find a little island I really want to fare my days alone Cause I'm oh so tired I really want to dream the dreams of angels Find something better and the in-between I really want to be okay Being alone at sea To a bone, fish a bone, sail boat yacht That was beautiful. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> That's Jeff Plankenhorn here on KRFC's Live at Lunch with the song Alone at Sea. And kicking off, the Live at Lunch was Flat Tire. And uh, yeah, Alone at Sea, that's, uh, like I said, it's a beautiful song. And I don't know how tired you are, but it sounds like it's a song about what you're living right now. You're living on an island, right? Well, yeah, I live on the very, very large island of Vancouver okay. Island, where my wife is from. Okay. People always think Vancouver Island, they think, oh, I love Vancouver. It's like, oh, no, 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 no. It's, it's very, a different story. Very different, yeah. But uh, it's, it's, I don't know exactly how big it is, but it's about eight hour drive from top to bottom okay. and about four hours across. So it's Michigan size, really. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's a beautiful island. Um, I guess, yeah, uh, I've been landlocked my whole life, every place yeah. I've ever lived. So now that I live... Uh, right by the water, it's it's definitely been creeping into my writing here and, yeah. here and there. You can just sit there and watch the boats go by and write yeah, a song about we it. We actually have a ferry that goes back and forth between Quadra Island and where we live, and I see it with coffee. You know, yeah, kind of nice. How how long is that ferry ride? Oh, it's only about I don't know, ten fifteen. Oh, okay, it's not too bad. No, no, there's so many islands between Vancouver Island and the mainland. Yeah. like I don't know or something ridiculous like that. Okay. And they all have their own kind of flavor to them and their own vibe. Salt Springs a little different from yeah. Quadra. But Vancouver Island is the big, the big one. The one that Victoria, the capital it's, of yeah, that's BC, interesting. is on. It's a whole new world for me. I've never Man, it's, I've I've, been to I've, Canada a lot, but I've never been over there. 
Oh, you should go. It's, yeah. I, I'm, I've become a man of two countries. Yeah. You know, My I'm, sister lives in Toronto, so oh, is that right? I need to I go visit her there. more often. Oh, did you? Yeah, I just played there last month at a place called the Dakota Tavern. The Dakota Tavern. A lot of fun playing that place. Cool. Yeah, well, I'll have to let her know next time. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Keep an eye on the schedule. Um, I... I think that, uh, you know, your music kind of fills this gap and right, you know, the first two songs today kind of, um, have been a little bluesy and that one's kind of songwritery, but listening to your last album, it was very like, there's, I can hear a lot of like CCR, Elvis Costello, Paul Westerberg (laughs) flavors, even like Stevie Ray Vaughan and Allman Brothers. And I was just curious, like, where, where did your love of, uh, first of all, where, where are you originally from since you're landlocked? And uh, then I was born in Ohio. Okay. And uh, yeah. I lived in Ohio and Michigan until, okay. until I was, uh, co- until college was done with me, as they say. Cool. Um, uh, but if you're asking about who, you know, yeah. musical influences Musically are, um, too. I would not play music if it wasn't for Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder. And oh, a man, lot of people don't necessarily hear that as much. I mean, especially today with the, the voice being kind of messed up. But the, uh, oh, sorry for the disclaimer, but you know, <laughs> ooh, it's rough. It sounds good to me. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I'm trying to get through it here uh, and do my best. Yeah, I remember being four years old and lying in front of the big speakers in our living room. And I can see the the Morant's dial, the green dial with all mm-hmm. the radio stations and flipping through it. And the knob is like this big. Yeah. And when I was four, uh, Songs in the Key of Life came out. Oh, beautiful. And that was a big thing. Like, everybody went out and bought, like, it was a big thing. Um, Stevie, I mean, I remember it being in, like, newspaper ads and stuff. And um, I was singing along with, like, Sir Duke and I Wish, not knowing what any of the words meant, you know, (laughs) and... You know, and uh, it was, uh, it's it just, really, it's got a big me. vibe to it. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I kind of, as I got older, I kind of got into, um, you know, kind of people like, like Stevie and, and, uh, and like Willie Nelson, even though I'm not a big country guy, mm-hmm. I, I sure love Willie and Dolly Parton. And I like these people who everybody has a seat at the table. Yeah. No matter who you are, you know, you go to one of their shows, you see every walk of life. Yep. You know, and, yeah. and I, I uh, aspire to have that kind of audience where yeah. everybody feels welcome at my show. As long as you're not putting anybody else down, yeah, as, I as, want yeah. you there. As long as you're not punching people then, and stuff then I'm, like that. Then I'm, gla- <laughs> then I'm glad to have you come on in. Let's have some fun. That's know? awesome. Yeah, I mean, the old in the older country, too. Uh, I mean, the closest thing I've heard to that in a while is like the... Sturgill Simpson, you oh, know, shit. Sailor's that's Guide really to Life. Good. Just yeah. like people are like, that's not country music. And I'm like, that's what country music yeah, kind of used, used to be, to be you know? Yeah. Their I, horns I, and like all this, you know, I different get, flavors creeping in. And yeah, I get mistaken for being a country artist because of my time in Texas and because mm-hmm. I play slide. And uh, I always like to say, you know, I mean, I, it's not like I have a problem and I don't want to denigrate anybody who listens to country music. Yeah. And if you listen to country music, to denigrate means to put down. Yeah. <laughs> you know. No. That's a, that's a, that's a, no, it's a beautiful old joke that I love. That's yeah. Bob Newhart. <laughs> Bob Newhart. It's a Bob Newhart joke. But I mean, you, you know, my crowd, they all know that I'm kidding. You know? Yeah. but for, And for those of you who are listening, uh, streaming on carefcfm.org or listening on 88.9 FM and you can't see Jeff. Uh, Jeff is actually playing a dobro and sometimes people nope, still ask, oh, it's, it, what is that? It's, it's just, not, it's, it's in Oahu, Oahu, which is a square neck guitar, Okay, but dobros are the ones that uh, have the hubcap. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which yeah, has yeah. Like a, a resonator. And also dobros okay. like Kleenex too. Like, I don't know if you know this, but yeah. you know, people don't say, Hey, hand me that tissue paper. They'll yeah, always yeah. say, it's a hand me that, that Kleenex. Kleenex. Dobro is a brand name. Yep. But um, nobody usually wants to say square neck resonator guitar because nobody knows <laughs> Doesn't all roll that stuff. Off the so tip they just of the pretty tongue. much say dobro. But this is actually an Oahu. It's a, sort of a student model acoustic, okay. and and I hate to be you know that way about it, but no, I love the thing. It's uh, it's a beautiful guitar. But uh, so to put it another way for people listening, it's the sideways guitar. Yeah, you play it on <laughs> with your the lap. slide. People still come you know, up to me uh, and they say, "What is that guy playing?" Yeah. Well, at, at at concerts and stuff. I get a and lot of, uh, "Oh, I, you, you play it like Jeff Healy," and it's like, "No, not that either." <laughs> um, but it's uh, it's more like um, the way you would play a pedal steel guitar yeah. or a lap steel guitar. It's got the strings way up high. To, yeah, and a big yeah. square neck, so it doesn't. You can't fret it like a regular guitar. No. So. But it's beautiful. That yeah, it's such thanks, a great man. tone. Well, for those who don't know, I, I designed yeah. a guitar back in early two thousands because everybody wanted me to play dobro in rock bands, and I, I just it just didn't sound loud enough, and the technology wasn't there at that point. Mm-hmm. 
um, to sound really great unless you had like 10 or 15 pedals and stuff. So I went to a luthier and he built me a, 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 a guitar and I said, put a lap steel neck yep. and electric guitar parts and chamber it on the sides, you know. And this was nothing new. Stand-up lap steels have been around for forever, yeah, you know. Uh, people, so cool. people think they're just coming around, but no, 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 no. Yeah. Um, for all the sacred steel people, like Aubrey Gent was standing up playing lap, and, and uh, David Lindley years ago mm -hmm. playing his mellow bar. But mine was, uh, uh, mine is uh, what I use when I go out and I do the rock shows and stuff and I'm playing lap and it's, yeah. it's great and it's nice they named it's, it after it's me. It's the plank. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so something for listeners to yeah, check it's out. it's kind of fun. Yeah, they yeah. can check it Google, out. Google, if you Google the, the plank, Jeff Plankenhorn, right, right here on KRFC. Uh, we're glad to have you on live at lunch. It looks like you have a song called The Mess coming up for us here. Yeah, I'll give right. it a try. Yeah, I know you can do it. it. Might be another hard one with the vocals, but we're going to yeah. try. It's going to be beautiful. All right, here we go. Um, this is what uh, about a house I used to live in, and I'm particularly glad that I don't live there anymore. <laughs> Well, the floorboard's creaking, I think it's gonna give And the tin roof's leaking, but it's where I have to live The pipes, they are bursting and belching from the tongue And it seems that the worst thing is yet to come But in all of my hatred and despise for this place Well, I'd rather be in here than out in the rat race This world is too big for me I'm too small, afraid of my shadow I only crawl into the cellar that stinks of rotten mold It's dark, dim and dingy, and a sight to behold Well, the window's broken, so everyone can see the mess that is me She reached for the handle Well, it fell down to the floor I tried to hide My embarrassment and shame But it's falling apart And there's no one left to blame Some things I think Time will never erase The cold smell of fear And the stone horror face As you fell through the wall I knew it was then You decided you would never be Coming back Again, and you know I don't need company I'd rather be alone The lines have been down for years Why bother with a phone? Well, the curtains are torn So everyone can see the mess That is me And the portraits have fallen from rusted nails And I'm reminded of advice An old friend had to give If you don't take care of home Where the hell you gonna live? Well, the window's broken So everyone can see the mess that is me The mess that is me Yeah, the mess. Jeff Plankenhorn <laughs> here on KRFC's live at lunch. Uh, that made me think that my basement started flooding. That's <laughs> just the other day. That's beautiful. It brings up different images <laughs> for me, Sean. Very different images for me. Yeah. But 
but whatever works. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, oh, I gotta call that plumber back. Um, awesome. Do you wanna do you wanna play another song for I, us? I'd while love you get, to play another song. On? I'm right. gonna throw you for a loop here and, okay. and and do something else since I'm having trouble hitting all those high notes. Um, I'm, I wrote a song with a friend of mine named Michael O'Connor. One thing that I like to do is when I go out and tour, sometimes I do the solo troubadour thing. I do the festival band thing. Mm-hmm. But I also like to go out with another singer-songwriter that's kind of a guitar slinger like me. and Especially someone who used to be a sideman now does their own thing. Because then we can back each other up yeah. and really kind of have fun and have a conversation musically on stage. So I do these buddy records every once in a while. I did one with uh, Scrappy Judd Newcomb, and I also did one with a guy named Michael O'Connor, and they've been really great for when we go out and tour. And what we do, I know it's a really novel idea, but we actually sit down in the studio with two guys, Mm -hmm. and we put a mic on each guitar, (laughs) and we put a mic on each vocal, and then we just play through 10 songs, and that's the album. Nice, yeah. And uh, Chestnuts is the one I did with Scrappy Judd, and the one I did with Michael was called Nothing to Prove. Well, we liked it so much that um, Michael and I went and we did another one, and it'll come out in March. But uh, That's exciting. Long, a- long after my, uh, my main record comes out. This is just yeah, we're going to talk about that one in a minute, too. Something else we do for fun. Awesome. Yeah. That's a really cool idea. Yeah. Need, the world needs more of that. Yeah. Kind of organic. This is called... Um, have heart will travel. Yeah. Looking out on the roadside, new sunlight on the pavement. Can't tell if it's cool or warm Can't tell how many days we spent But time is a merciless wanderer Flying faster the further you roam Have heart travel anywhere is home the people see that shine in your eyes Though they can spot a deceiver She tells you every lie kills you slow You sure better believe her But the grass is soft on this island And there's new seeds to be sown Have heart will travel And you're never alone Shadows fall On your memories In spite of how hard you try The cavalcade a friendly faces that will soon pass you by. Your book has always been wide open. Nothing borrowed, nothing owned Have heart, will travel No good 
goodbyes on the road Have heart, will travel, Jeff Plankenhorn right here on Live at Lunch on KRFC. You can uh, tune in to KRFC, of course, on krfcfm.org streaming, 88.9 FM in Northern Colorado, and also uh, the KRFC Radio Vision YouTube channel where you can watch all of our amazing Live at Lunch performances. So that was Have Heart, Will Travel, Jeff Plankenhorn right here um, and on KRFC. If you, uh, you can... St- Stream us on krfcfm.org. Uh, listen to us in Northern Colorado on 88.9 FM. And, of course, you can check us out on KRFC Radio Vision on YouTube if you just search for that. You're going to find all these amazing videos, all these amazing Live at Lunch artists. Uh, thanks again, Jeff, for being here today. Um, My sincere pleasure. Yeah, it's good to see you again. I think it's been a few years. So Yeah, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't been to Colorado. I'm, I'm in the middle of a two-week tour of Colorado. Um, uh, and, uh, it's just been fantastic it, it, aside from losing my voice. Yeah. It's been really, really great. I haven't been here since like 2018, I think, 18, or 19, maybe 19. I think it was 19. 19. Seems. And, um, uh, so it, it's, it's just, uh, it's been pretty wonderful and it's really nice to come in here. And I got to tell you guys, like I'm a, I'm a pretty big fan of, of radio and I grew up on it and I'm still a big part of it. So I really appreciate what you guys are doing. And, yeah, thank you. And I, I, of course, go through and I'm actually a follower on the YouTube. Woohoo! And I actually watch and I go see and I see, you know, those cool videos with There's, Jack Broadbent and all yeah, these other people some that good you stuff have coming through. Out. And, and it's really pro and it sounds great. And, yeah. You know, so it's a real blessing for artists like me to have something like this to come and do. Awesome. Well, thank you. Yeah. Well, well I guess while we're talking about how it looks and sounds, our crew today, yes. Eric Delano, Jeremy Smith doing videography. We have Greg Doris and Colton Baining and Dan Perez on the audio. And we're also doing a little training too today of somebody that's kind of new looking at both the audio and video, which is a lot of fun to get new people in the organization. So thank you. Thank you to you guys for making the sound and look amazing every single week. But, uh, the unsung a, heroes. Yeah. Performances behind like the this, scenes. Right? I always like to take, while I'm standing back here, yeah. take a few pictures of what other people are doing. Cause it's a cool view from my angle oh, yeah. too. I always try if I'm, at, if I'm at a gig and I have really good sound, yeah. I always try and kind of single out the sound person yeah. Thank and you. say, you know, <laughs> this sound person is your unsung hero of every show. And, you know, appreciate and, it. And then I also say, you know, it's not unheard of to tip a sound man. <laughs> and then every once in a while, the sound person will come up to me and they'll go, you know, I actually got a few tips. Nice. I, I'll start using I'll that one. Like, yeah. <laughs> but I'll only, do awesome. it, only do it when the sound is great. You yeah. Know, and I'll thank <laughs> them. Make it worth it. Yeah. But I give them that extra push in hopes that, you know, <laughs> Give them some acknowledgement. I would tip them, which I do. (laughs) Yeah. Well, uh, kind of wrapping about back to what we were talking about before. Have heart will travel. Um, Your songs, even when you're rocking, even when you're just tearing it up with a full band, it seems like your your songs are really songwriting focused a lot of times. Even even if you're raging, uh, they're still just these like kind of deep uh, deep seated. Yeah, I mean, meaningful. I like, I like uh, to say that, that that I take the craft of songwriting seriously, yeah. but I don't take myself seriously. <laughs> and are you, you a, can't, can't believe your own your BS own stuff, too much? Yeah. You know, as you're going to just get in trouble. Luckily, I'm married, and the marriage helps a lot with that. That's good. Get she some, she won't let me get some get above my raisin. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Are, are you like a date? Are you like a a pen to paper everyday songwriter? Are you and just keeping in the practice? Or are you just like when the muse hits you every six months or how, how's your songwriting process work usually? You no, know, um, I'm a big believer in, I don't care how it happens when it happens. I'm so thankful. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a lot of friends who do like these song games, Yeah, yeah. you know, and, uh, uh, and they, they do like one song a week and they send around a prompt and they all write a song. That was really difficult for me. Yeah. Um, and I actually started a Patreon page. This isn't to mention that, but, but I guess it's good. Yeah. We're going to talk about that. And so. when, <laughs> when I started that, it was like a lot less daunting for me. Cause mm-hmm. like once a week was really tough. Not that I'm not writing all the time, but yeah. once a week to like turn something out that everybody wanted to listen to, like a full song. You felt good about that you didn't, want to I share? I didn't feel good. I, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I've tried them like That's three tough. different times with three different groups and always after like two, three weeks, I'm done. Yeah. But um, the Patreon thing has worked out great because you know I have time to really take all the songs that I'm working on 
and put stuff out there and get people to listen to what I'm doing, like my my friends and fans and family, and they give feedback. And a lot of the yeah. songs that are on the new album were on there first in some sort of demo form. Oh, you know? cool. Yeah, Sometimes it's nice. with a full band. Sometimes it's on piano. I, I put two piano songs on the new album that I never thought that was going to happen. But really, man, I'll do anything to get a song. And I love co-writing with other people. Songwriting used to be really, really daunting to me because of all of the people that I used to play with. Mm -hmm. And I was kind of humbled and shrunk a little bit about songwriting. And then I started, you know, getting some songs and, you know, uh, that people were liking. And, uh, and eventually I was, I was co-writing with this guy named Gary Nicholson and I told him about how it was kind of tough sometimes and he goes oh god jeff if this wasn't fun i wouldn't do it <laughs> and i just kind of like this wash came over me like oh yeah i remember i had this teacher when i was a kid that said music is you play music you know it's yeah. playing yeah and then i just joy. have to keep that child like kind of uh, abandoned in wonder yeah. so sometimes i'll have a legal pad sometimes i always carry around a notebook mm -hmm. sometimes i'm on the computer and i'm moving this verse over here i even do like zoom rights sometimes oh, cool. with people yeah. what's really cool about zoom rights is like you're in your comfort zone and they're in their yeah, comfort zone space. and they might be like we'll pull up a sheet where we're both writing in real time yeah and on on the laptop or your computer or whatever and it's weird sometimes it's really like relaxing because of that yeah um i guess basically because we got used to it during the lockdown yeah yeah and you have um, learned yeah, that yeah i take you can I, I, I love that freedom songwriting yeah, I just love it, and I'm doing it all the time. I was writing a little song in my head. I had to pull over this morning. I pulled over. And <laughs> I took. A, I, I, I'm, I'm not a big pull over and do it, but uh, I did this morning, and I did one that ended up on the last album. Oh, nice! Um, but when I pulled over this morning, kind of near Alamosa, it was a real nice sunset, and I didn't want to put up another picture of me with a guitar. So sometimes I take pictures on the road, and so mm -hmm. I got that out. And then I was just man, it was just. I was really early and I had a long drive, but I was feeling really grateful. Feeling it. Yeah. I was just feeling lucky. And yeah. uh, I just wanted to put pen to paper for a few minutes. Yeah. So that's it. That's nice. So yeah, anyway, when, you whenever, can get it wherever. Is good. Feeling good. Yeah. Sometimes the, with no, nothing at all. Um, uh, sometimes I'll be walking in the woods with, you know, my wife and the dog, and all of a sudden something will hit me and I'll be like, oh, got to write it down. Good thing. Or I'll voice memo it. Yeah, the voice memos. I can't even keep Killer. up with the They're voice so memos great on for my that. phone. Yeah. yeah. And the, pad, great, the notepad great, on the phone. Technology. Yeah. yeah. There's all sorts of crazy stuff. Now you can multi-track on your phone and everything. Oh, that's pretty wild. It's brilliant. It's yeah. Um, and you also, I wanted to bring up, you were a recipient of a uh, 2018 Sonic Guild artist. Oh, yeah. Uh, Grant, can you formerly, tell, formerly tell our listeners a little bit about... Friend, yeah. now called Sonic Guild. That was an amazing experience, man, especially at, at my humble age. You know, I started my solo career at the, at the ripe age of 43, and um, I'm 50 now, and it's yeah. going pretty darn well. Yeah. But back in 2018, uh, some people said, hey, you should really try for this thing. And, and it was a huge help to get a grant from them to, to help promote my record, Sleeping Dogs. Okay. And um, I'd already made the record. Um, so when I got the grant, I was like, this is going to go to publicity. And it really helped kind of bump me to another notch. Yeah. Whole and new um, level. for those who don't know, basically, you know, you join and uh, you pay one fee for the whole year. And then they kind of uh, curate gigs of all yeah. these musicians. Private Some have already shows gotten and, grants. Yeah. Incredible yeah. shows. And it's really like every type of music. So the musicians dig it too. Because we don't want to just go and hear people who sound like us. Yeah. I want to hear the hip hop group. Yep. I want to hear the jazz experimental group. I want to hear the folkies. I want to hear everything. Yeah. And that's what you get. Get a little bit of everything. Yeah. And so it's really, really cool. And, and, and they've given out quite a bit of money to help musicians. And they spread from Austin where... I as all the way. I mean, they're here. Yeah, there's a chapter in nor Northern Colorado exactly. chapter. So we're we're we talk to them, and there's Seattle shows in Fort well. Collins and Denver, and yep, there's another one in Seattle now. I mean, it's just amazing what they've what they've been able to do yeah. to uh, help musicians because we're in yeah. a point where you know when people don't buy music anymore, it's like, well, we need patrons. Yeah, we need to patrons. help us we make need make music and, and people it's a who will hopefully way. love our music and yeah. tell other people about it, and that's who that's who the. 
the people who go to those concerts are the people who love yeah, music and share music and have house concerts. And yeah. 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 So yeah, that's a great thing for uh, Northern Colorado musicians to check out Black Fret too. And yeah. I know that we've had Remember, other- Remember, it's now changed to Sonic Guild. Oh, sorry. Guild. Yes, got Sonic no, that's Guild. Okay. Thank that's you. That's my fault. You. I shouldn't no, have- No, he <laughs> brought it up. I had it written down both ways too. But yeah, we've had other, I think uh, Bevan Luna- um, Oh yeah. Is, is a Sonic Guild- yeah. Uh, has got a grant this year, last year too, as well, and she did a live at lunch a year ago or so. Okay. Um, uh, Let's see, who else can I think of right off the bat? Um, Yeah, there's some great people. There's just been so many great ones. Something for Uh, our listeners to check out for sure, uh, especially Madam Radar, uh, Ray Prim, so many great musicians. Yeah, well, that's a really cool process. Why don't we play maybe a couple more songs, and then we'll chat uh, about this upcoming record before... The uh, the end of the hour. I want to I hear like more it. about I that. I like it. I'm getting yappy. Should yeah, no, help, you're good. You're me. good. We're here for you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, here's another one. This one was one of the Patreon songs that I did uh, with a buddy of mine, and uh, this is one that ended up on the album. But you can hear the little demo version uh, if you join the Patreon. So. <laughs> And you never can let them go And you're stuck there chasing little pink rabbits Down their little rabbit holes And you hear them wolves huffing and a puffing Sniffing out their prey And you show sure enough tired of all this running And you really gotta get away Oh my, my do a little dancing, yeah. Oh, my, my, do a little dancing. That's all you gotta do. Now, if you're searching for the man with the tattooed hand, to get your head on right Don't burn the top down on the cellophane Hoping you get real tight And then say don't be looking down your nose I'm doing what I gotta do I tell you to leave your words with cold check Jenny It's surely time you bust your move.
I bet he knows a thing or two In the cool shed of a lazy dogwood tree You hear it in his lonesome tune Long stretch shadow of the afternoon A test of everything Wild and free Southern flying away Soon I'll be Far from this sleepy northern sea Strolling with her by my side And every turn a perfect work of art When I see the world through her brown eyes The curtains open on a new sunrise The myth that sings straight into my heart Southern flying away soon I'll be Far from this sleepy northern sea Jeff Plankenhorn, KRFC, live at lunch. That's a beautiful song. What was the name of that one? Bird Out on Ninth. We live on Ninth Avenue. Nice. And uh, there was a bird. We got out of uh, my wife's truck, and uh, she's a horticulturalist and a gardener, so it's her truck. truck. (laughs) And uh, we got out of it, and there was this bird whistling going, (whistles) and I whistled back to the bird. And she's like, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm having a conversation with the bird. She said, you're so weird. (laughs) And then I went in the room and I went. There you go. You can really talk to that bird. Just turned it into something kind of bluesy. That's really cool. Couldn't figure out what bird it is. We've tried. We've like used the apps. But the bird comes around every year and always sings that little melody. That's really cool. That's a good story. That's you never a good... know where it's going to come from. Yeah, I know. From. You were saying you'll take a song from anywhere, Pretty right? Pretty much. I got it from a bird. <laughs> from a Can't bird? A co- don't have to give them a co right. That, exactly. You know? No no money involved in that transaction. Right, right. They wouldn't Tens know what to of do dollars with it. are all mine. <laughs> in the end. Publishing. And your future generations. Exactly. <laughs> right? Pennies trickling in. 
That's awesome. That's a really cool story. Bird on Ninth. What album is that on? That's going to be out on the That's new album. It's going to be on the new everything, album. Everything Perfect. we've played so far, except for Have Heart, Will Travel, okay. is going to be on the new on album. On this new album. And yeah, yeah, let's talk about that. You've got, so far, it looks like you, what, have five albums out? Uh, yeah, um, and two EPs. Two EPs. Let's and see. So, uh, or no, it's the grand total is, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. And two EPs, yeah. Two EPs, so seven releases. And yeah. then the last one was Sleeping Dogs yeah. um, and the Soul Slide in 2016. Yep, yep, yep. And, and then uh, in 2019 and, and 2021, I did these little EPs yeah. called Covered and Uncovered. And one was kind of like solo acoustic and one was kind of like re-envisioning the Jug Band and oh, cool. kind of uh, you know playing really rock and stuff, but with just percussion and nice. all acoustic instruments. Nice. And they're cool, man. Um, they're, they're, I was really proud of those, too. It kept me going, having creative outlets like Patreon and these yeah. and, uh, and, and live streams and all those kind yeah. of things. And, and now you've got a new one coming out on September 29th? That's correct. It's Alone on, at Sea. Tell yeah. us about that. Well, it's going to be on Blue Corn Music and... Um, I've known these folks for a long, long time. They've put out a lot of good music, especially uh, my friend Ruthie Foster. Mm -hmm. And um, I have a long-standing relationship with them anyway. And uh, I was really, really happy to get on the label for this. I went to Nashville. It's not like I don't have enough people in Texas to play with when I'm there. Yeah. Um, but I really liked the way this guy, Colin Linden, uh, he's in Blackie and the Rodeo Kings, and he does his own albums and... He's also produced like I don't know, like the last ten Bruce Coburn records. Oh Keb, wow, yeah. Keb Mo. Just I loved the the sonic sound, like literally. I mean, I know that's kind of redundant. Yeah, but yeah, the... but but just the overall sound of the record. I was like, for these songs, I think this might be. It was actually another uh, suggestion from my friend Scrappy Jed Newcomb. We were out on tour, just the two of us, and he was like, "You ever think about Colin Linden?" And I was like, no, but that's a great idea. Yeah, that's cool. And I went down the rabbit hole and I started listening to the records that he produces. And man, we had a really good time. We used a guy named George Rosselli, mm -hmm. uh, who played with Dylan for about 20 years on drums. But uh, particularly for his New Orleans feel for a lot of the up stuff, like doing a little dancing mm -hmm. and uh, things like that. Also, in Bird on the Ninth, he played amazingly. Um, and then a really great bass player named John Diamond. And then me and uh, myself and Colin pretty much covered the rest of it. Okay. It was cool. the first time I ever really let myself be produced. Yeah. I wanted to let go of the reins and uh, kind of not get... I, I just wanted to do two things. I wanted to bring good songs and have good performances and then let somebody I trust be, do it. Be your own side, man. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just really wanted to let go and... and um, and let somebody else produce the record, because yeah. um, I'm always kind of once again getting somebody else's voice in there, just like with yeah. with co-writing and just oh, it's so feeling, great for that feeling reason. that out and just letting them letting yeah. them take the the reins and just mm -hmm. tell you uh, do it this way. It's a lot of hats. Click this button. You know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah, but luckily, has, most of it was live in the studio, and then we did a few overdubs of okay uh, organ and some horns. Uh, but it was primarily that. That was the core group. Yeah, and, and, and like in the past, you've had like Ruthie Foster. You mentioned Ray Wiley Hubbard, uh, who yeah, was Penny Griffin, Brett Denon. You worked with. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, so, uh, any any other uh, special people oh, popped onto know, this album? Uh, yeah, Top do that, secret. Do or? that thing where you're name dropping. Yeah. And, well, know, no, no, it's no. okay. There's. there's <laughs> Plenty of that in all the bios that my publicist put out. You know? Yeah, no, but it's you good to, uh, people get excited when they know you, well, you've will, played with somebody well, or they can I'll go dig it up, say, you know? Part, part of it is also like, um, like in the instance of uh, Patty Griffin singing on mm -hmm. Sleeping Dogs, um, I, I didn't know her. I was just a huge fan yeah. from a long time ago, especially of her writing, singing, mm -hmm. Self accompaniment, the whole package, you know. Yeah. Like I've been a really big Patty Griffin fan for a long time. Never thought she would sing on a record of mine, but my co producer Scrappy Judd sent her a song that we were working on, kind of without my knowledge. Mm -hmm. And uh, and she called him back and said, "Oh yeah, yeah, I've been driving around all day singing along to it. I'd love to come in and oh, do that's it." That's wonderful. 
And I was never like, know what'll happen. Well, I guess that's gonna have to be the way it is. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, but, you know. So, it, yeah. uh, so what I mean is, it's not so much a name drop. It's no, no, it's a humbling. Yeah. Uh, not that I'm above yeah. it, you know. Yeah, no, it, I mean, I mean, know. for for people listening, you know, if they know <laughs> Patty Griffin played it, you know, yeah. if they love her, yeah. they they're gonna hopefully go well, dig up too. that song. Yeah, you know, too, um, it's it's too. exciting to if they didn't know she was on something. There, yeah, there are people that are gonna be like, oh, that's something I have to hear. And so for music lovers, it's. It's always good to find those connections. That's, yeah. that's how I feel about it. And, and so, Ruthie's like, like literally, like she's just like one of the strongest people I know, um, musically and otherwise. Yeah, uh, I, I take our our longtime friendship really, really seriously. Yeah. I, I really love Ruthie. That's awesome. Yeah. Are there any when you're in a recording studio? Uh, recording your own album or recording with somebody else. Are there any uh, interesting rituals or things that ways you like it? You like the lights dim? You like you incense? Know, do you like? Do you have a I, Buddha I, you put in the corner? I mean, I like all <laughs> those things. I do. I do like a little bit dimmer light. Yeah. Um, but what's really funny is you know you were talking about songwriting and um, how how I used to do it. I mean, it used to be a thing where I would come home after the gig at two in the morning. You know, I'd have to chill out for a little bit. Mm-hmm. And then four o'clock, I'd got all write that a adrenaline little bit before and, bed. And I mean, like, basically, you know, I got, I married a gardener, mm-hmm. you know, so now I will like, you know, either drop her off at work at seven or I'll like, uh, you know, just get up when she's getting up and then, you know, grab a cup of coffee and nobody calls a musician before 11 o'clock. No. Well, that means I get, you know, four <laughs> solid hours that I could just do music, and do music. And uh, I have really kind of flipped the schedule that way. I never in a million years thought I would become a morning the, the person. The morning person, yeah. right in, I mean, right I can flip it all when I'm out on the road and I've yeah. got some late gigs. You have to. <laughs> Pretty much have to. Or you just don't sleep because yeah. you got to drive the next day. <laughs> exactly. Otherwise, <laughs> I'm four o'clock in Alamosa like this morning. Oh, yeah. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I, I, I really like writing in the morning and I also like studio things like that. You know, uh, uh, the best producers in my mind aren't the ones who kind of beat you into submission. They're mm-hmm. the ones that make you feel the most comfortable. Yeah. Find the, know? the, the vibe yeah. you need. Yeah. You deserve the music deserves Yeah, as well. Um, well, that's awesome. Uh, really cool. What, uh, where did you record this album? Um, uh, it was in Nashville, which like I said, you know, without having, a with having a plethora of people that I could have recorded in Texas and now having a really, really great band on Vancouver Island as well. Um, I could have done it in either place, but really it was about giving Colin a chance to, to, to work with these songs. And I think he did a fantastic job, Yeah, you know, of kind of getting what, what I wanted out of him. Um, (laughs) And, uh, you know, it's like there's you know, sometimes people are sort of anti one town or another. I've just never had that. Yeah. I just see good in, in so many scenes. Find it all. You know, Portland's got a great scene. You know, Knoxville's got a great scene yeah. that's coming up. I come to Colorado. I meet so many great musicians. Yeah. I'm not just saying that. So, no, that yeah, there's you know? multiple great scenes I, all within an hour yeah, of each, I mean, each well, other here. That, like, I mean, I can go to Telluride and get a yeah. bass player and a drummer and play a gig in a heartbeat. And yeah. just, it's so much fun. It's amazing. Yeah. Really so cool. there's talent everywhere. It's yeah. like uh, you just got to be open and be looking for it. Yeah. Can't expect it to knock, knock your, your door. door. You got to go out and yeah. look for it. How has, uh, with recording this album and... Um, you know, all the advancements in recording technology, home recording technology, how has that kind of changed your prop, uh, pre-production process, I guess? Well, it's made pre-production process. really, really great. You know, I sent, uh, <coughs> Colin, um, like, yeah, I don't know. Like I just sat down one day and I said, I'm just going to do it. And, uh, I sent him, I just like in an hour, just did a bunch of voice memos of my songs without thinking, mm-hmm. just, on my iPhone and, and just sent them to him. And, uh, that was it. That's all we needed. And we would pull those up if we needed to yeah. work on them during the of course. We, I sent him a whole bunch more than that before we picked yeah. all the songs, but that was enough for him to say he wanted to do the project at home. I do a lot of remote recording for other people. It's cool. Still, you know, still and it's, that. it's amazing that you can do that now. Oh, and I brilliant. keep it really simple for musicians out there. Um, if you're, if you're doing acoustic instruments, you don't have to become a, an engineer who really, really understands Pro Tools yeah. to be able to do remote recording from your place. You know, you can send them, 
you know, just a really, really good signal and like, you know, good, yeah. good stuff. And, you know, it's, it's as simple as a mic in front of an instrument. Yeah. It's amazing and, uh, nowadays. And uh, let them do all that other stuff. Cause I mean, <laughs> I am not an engineer. No. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a such lot to learn. art form that I have so much respect for. Yeah. It's a, it's a whole other thing than just playing an instrument, yeah. and learning it also. Yep. People who can do it all just, it's mind blowing. Yeah. They kind of blow my mind too, <laughs> but, uh. Well, that's two before uh, we play a couple more songs to end the hour. All right. Um, we've got, uh, I, I wanted to throw out, uh, once again, you have a Patreon page. I do. Um, that's just patreon.com. Backslash Jeff Plank and Horn. Awesome. And that, that way people can get all those behind the scenes exactly demos, right. songs, cover songs, all sorts of cool stuff I yeah, saw in there. Yeah, yeah. Um, you've got jeffplankandhorn.com. That's um, the hub. The hub. That, that'll there. get you wherever you need to go. Like yeah. it's got the, the you know, because I mean, these days we really, have to be on everything. everything. One person wants so. you to have a SoundCloud. One person wants you to have an Instagram. One yeah. person, you know. So you just you bands do in all. town. I do them all. My <laughs> bands in town has been particularly great. I, yeah, I it's, really, it's been pretty cool to learn good more for gigs. About bands in town. Yeah, yeah. Uh, face. Facebook, yep. Instagram. Yep. You doing the TikTok? Uh, I have a TikTok, <laughs> but man, that one drove me nuts for a while. I got right to the point. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, folks. I'm a little under the weather. Um, I got right to the point where, you know, I got a thousand fans, you know, pretty quick. And uh, that's when you can start doing live streams. Okay. And as soon as I got to there, I started doing them and I realized that I had to do it every day or oh. I would just like dump to the bottom of the algorithm. And I was like, oh no, that's I'm they, done. No, I can't do it every day. The social day. media companies want a lot yeah, from They you. really need, <laughs> they need your engagement. Yes. And also like I was on Twitter for a minute, uh, 10 years and uh, as soon as I got le- earlier this year, I got my 10 year uh, uh, thing from Twitter. It said, you've been on Twitter for 10 years. And I wrote, probably a good time for me to quit. <laughs> and I stopped to a Twitter that day. And uh, well, I'm, that's you, funny. Know, you know, there it is. Uh, I got a little the, bit more time. Yeah. Because got, of that. Got a few more minutes. Well, why don't you got one more song for us to Absolutely. finish up the hour. Once again, uh, thank you, Jeff Plankenhorn for coming in and joining us here on live at lunch. Again, it's great to see you, and so glad you were traveling through and able to stop by. Um, I'm very grateful for everybody on this team kind of putting up with me coming in with, like, you know, I lost my voice, and everybody's been really, really, really helpful and understanding about that situation. And everybody here is a pro. I think you sound uh, great. It just means the world to me to be able to come in. I think you sound great. Just have everybody do this. Like I said, maybe a little little Tom Waits, and then I was thinking more, maybe a little... uh, Todd Snyder. Tom even. Waits is good. Todd Snyder's great. Bam. Man, there you go. This is your Todd me. Snyder what phase of your career. What a great guy to be, <laughs> to be uh, compared to even in a moment, man. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm going to do a quick Oh, no, you're soon. good. Uh, so once again, KRFC Live at Lunch. You can tune into the amazing videos that we produce weekly on the KRFC Radio Vision YouTube page. Something to definitely check out. Subscribe. You can get notifications uh, so you can remember on Fridays when these videos are posted at noon that uh, that they're available. And uh, listen on uh, KRFCFM.org uh, streaming, 88.9 FM in Northern Colorado. And uh, one more song with Jeff Plankenhorn for this Live at Lunch. Thanks, everybody, for listening, and thanks to our crew once again. And thank you, Jeff. And thank you, Sean. I would like to send this song out to the Purgatory Players in Austin, Texas, and for all the good work they do for the Central Texas Food Bank and anybody who uh, is in the giving giving mood, you know, and uh, wants to look out for their fellow man and their neighbor. I know you got troubles Think you can outrun your fate Don't be so sure Take another look Maybe it's not too late Now listen, I was beat down I was so tired I was longing for the cleaner slate How was I to know which way to go Could be the narrow and the straight Maybe too late Maybe too late Well, you've only got one life to contemplate Maybe 
it's not too late Now if you're circling the drain or you're idling the main Those are temporary states Lay one foot down in front of the other No need to hesitate If you want to get out of your own way Lend your hand, don't discriminate Free your mind from the bondage of self And maybe it's not too late Maybe too late Maybe too late Lay your burden down, it's been such a heavy weight Maybe it's not too late Well, it's true sometimes The second chance has left you stalled at the gate This too shall pass, give it some gas Maybe it's not too late Now if you're thinking, gets to stinking And it's hard to even concentrate Baby, let go, maybe you'll know Maybe it's not too late, maybe too late It's not too late, maybe too late, maybe too late, maybe it's not too late, maybe too late, maybe too late, maybe it's not too late, maybe too late, maybe too late, maybe it's not too late. Thank you for listening to Live at Lunch, and thank you to the Music District here in the heart of Fort Collins, Colorado. Live at Lunch is produced by KRFC 88.9 FM in the Ginger and Baker studio. If you'd like to appear on Live at Lunch, email our music director, David Vosick, at david at krfcfm.org.